people, my name is Kaylin. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos to come. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the OKKL. So in today's video, I'm going to be finally showing you guys how I do my pin curl, the technique, the product that I'm going to use, and how I kind of like keep it tied down or pin curled up until I'm ready to actually wear it down. So I went to the salon like a few days ago. And I let the curls drop from what my stylist actually did. But today is my grad party that my parents have started to throw for me. Even though I graduated in December, you know, we had to wait till COVID died down. So this is how my hair is looking with the curls that were already on my hair and it just fell. So I'm going to go back in and recurl my hair. I love how my hair looks when it's curled, especially since I've gotten my hair colored now. Go check out my updated video of me basically showing you guys or telling you guys what she did because I ended up getting my whole roots done. So first thing I'm going to do is lightly comb through my hair with my fingers. You can take a wide tooth comb if you want to, but I'm just doing this to kind of get the tangles out. If your hair is already straightened, you can obviously skip this step. I just want to make sure there's no tangles. Kind of get everything stretched out so I can prepare to recurl it. Now, for the sake of these curls, I will say that since I'm going to actually take my curls or wear them down today, I will say if you pin curl your hair and wear it the next day, like go to sleep in the pin curls, the curls are like, 10 times more bomb like i don't know i just feel like the longer you keep the curls in the tighter they will be and kind of the longer they'll last but i don't really mind them falling so yeah got that combed out you're gonna want some clips to section your hair so the product i'm going to be using is the cream of nature anti-humidity gloss and shine mist this also acts as a heat guard you guys know i worry about this product all the time I kind of like to go in and spray on my hands first. Rub that through the top layer. And then just kind of spritz all over, especially on the ends. Don't want to have too much. Don't want it to be too oily or anything. That should be good. And now I'm going to go in with my Con Air. I really just love this one even over my um, Baby Bliss. Even though I love my, not Baby Bliss, Bayless. My Bayless flat iron, I love that. It gets like super hot though. But for this case, I'm still just going to use this. I'll link this in the description box down below for you guys. But yeah, I'm going to put it on the highest heat setting. Let that heat up and get ready to section my hair. Alright, so to section my hair, I like to go in vertical parts. So about medium sized parts, about like that much, and I like to go around my head. Now you're going to have to pay attention to the direction that I go in, especially when it comes to which side. So for example, I'm going to show you the way that I roll the barrel um, this way for my left side. So when you're on your left side of your hair, you're going to curl it a certain way, and when you're on your right side, you're going to curl it a certain way. Especially if you have like a side part or you have like some front uh, framing layers. You want it, the curls, especially in the front, to sit a certain way so that you can kind of like, you know, feather your hair down. So again, going in medium sized vertical parts. Gonna pin that out the way. And sometimes I like to divide that actual part into more sections. So for this case, I'm just gonna divide it into a top layer and a bottom layer. going to go in I like to lightly just straighten it out first and then I like to go in going to take that piece wrap it around turn the barrel you want to make sure that you have that piece of hair hanging out so it's almost like you're curling a ribbon I like to go down slowly sometimes I'll curl it back one more time just to make it a little bit tighter at the end boom have a beautiful curl and I like to kind of take another clip and just kind of let it hold right there and let it kind of cool down in that shape and form before I pin curl it I'm gonna go in the next one so again for my left side I like to turn the hair backwards 
make sure that piece is out go down really slow make sure the heat is even distributed boom now I'm gonna take that clip out and see I like to do this because now you can just clump that whole section together and because it's the perfect spiral curl I don't even have to like twirl it around my fingers to pin curl it I just kind of bunch up the curl kind of like what's that instrument that I'm thinking of can't think of the instrument but like if you think about a spring you just want to push back the spring to make the curl tighter and then I take one bobby pin and boom that's basically how I pin curl and even when I'm pin curling at night to preserve it I do the same thing I'll take a section roll it around you know into a bigger clump and then kind of go like that sometimes if your curls have gotten a little loose throughout the day I'll go like this to kind of move the curl again and then pin it back up. So now I'm going to take another medium sized vertical section. Pin the rest out the way. And again, I'm still on my left side. I'm going to take a subsection. I'm going to go the same direction because I am still on the left side. Go through it one time, just kind of straighten it out a little bit. Turn it back, make sure so I go slowly and boom. And sometimes the longer the section is, the curl won't be like super duper spirally because you have to think like the longer it is, the more the curl is like weighted down. Like even this is like a little bit thick, so I'm just going to make another subsection. The thicker it is, you, you kind of want to make sure that it's not too thick because it, the heat just won't like curl it as much. All right, so I'll take that huge section, curl all the sections in together, spring that up. Because this is thicker, I'm gonna take two bobby pins just to make sure it's secured and laying flat. Alright, so I have my entire left side pin curled up. Now moving on to the right, I want to show you guys the different direction that I'm curling in. So on this side, I'm going to take a sub section. I'm going to take the flat iron. I'm going to go down. Just straighten it out a little bit. Now Instead of me going over, I'm going to go under, turn the barrel, go down slowly, and again, kind of turn a little bit more to make it tired at the end if you want, and boom. I like doing it this way because you'll notice, especially in the front when you want to feather your hair, you have to make sure you go in that correct direction or else it's just not going to lay how you want it to. So literally, simple technique, just going around the opposite way.
all right now I am on the last section which is like my little framed bang area this is like my favorite part because you guys can actually see the highlights and low lights lots of color dimension right here and I love that so I'm gonna be doing that whole feathered look so I already have like the little bottom section pinned and the whole right side pinned so what I like to do is go in vertical or horizontal sections from this way well, vertical actually yeah vertical from this way and if you're looking at it from the side it'll be horizontal parts taking like about a medium sized section like this pin this out the way same thing but because this is more so on my right side I am still going to go under the barrel and because this layer is shorter, the curl tends to be a little bit tighter and shorter, but it'll fall once you kind of feather it out. Kind of let that sit like that. Boom! All right, my hair is all pin curled up. Now again, if you pin curl it and go to bed and take it down the next day, it'll look phenomenal. It'll still look good this the day of, but it's just that it's something about when you let the curls sit longer, they just look 10 times better. But for the sake of my gorgeous part, I'm taking them out today. So I'm gonna let it sit like this for a good two hours, go do my makeup, get dressed, and then show you guys how to take them down and style it. All right, and now for the takedown. Just going to remove all the bobby pins. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my cheek hair tint flex finish hairspray and just spray this lightly over my hair. And now I'm going to just separate the curls and play in it just to kind of get it to sit how I want it to sit. And then I'm going to kind of shake my head down to build the volume up, but first like to just kind of go through and separate them but it looks really pretty and like I said if you let this stay overnight it will look even more pretty so now my favorite part flip the hair boom bomb shell curls y'all so pretty now I just kind of go through that little bang part and feather it down just to kind of lay how I want it to lay all right this is the final look I'm gonna show you guys some of my pictures from my graduation party on this video as well but I love how my hair turned out one second All right, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more videos to come and follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the OK Kayla and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.